I've never been interested in really being in front of the camera. I really like the mystery and the mythology that you can create with just the voice and the intimacy of it. You know, being with somebody in their space without necessarily physically being there. Growing up, I had favorite DJs that like, I never saw, you know, but I knew their voice. There's something really cool about that. You know, if somebody recognizes me and they compliment me, I know that it's not just because something flimsy, it's, it's a lot deeper than that. Like I know that I have, or I hope that I have affected their life in a positive way. I mean, that's, I mean, that's the reason. That's like the baseline of, I think, why a lot of us do what we do because we're basically like helping people. You know, we're like improving people's quality of life. And I think that if, if there's any fame in that, great. But I don't know, it's not something I really think too much about. You know, like some of the feedback over the years I've gotten from people is that they tuned in at a time or I played something at a moment that affected them. There's so many different instances of that kind of feedback and it feels really good because that is exactly what it is, is a soundtrack for somebody's life. But I'm soundtracking my own life. And you know, the hope is that other people dig it. I'm thinking of sounds. I'm thinking of what something is gonna sound like with something else. I'm not mapping it out beforehand. I just go in, I pull some music and I play it. You know, kind of put it together as I'm going. You know, there were, there were a few years where I had a time slot that was once a week. And that allowed me to be more introspective, to be more meditative, to think about it more, to map it out more, to have an idea of what I was gonna do before I did it. Um, but I don't know, doing it every night, it's way more fun to not know exactly where I'm going. I think legacy is very important. Um, as far as what I do, who I am to Los Angeles and then you know the country and then the world at large, uh, having been on the radio for just about 20 years, more than fame, it's about effect. And the way that you know the legacy has been built is through the people that enjoy and appreciate what we've done. So I think the great thing about that is like we love what we do. I love what I do. There are those that love what we do and there therein lies the legacy. The personal legacy, I'm actually really working on that. Like I'm really paying attention to what that is. You know, how I conduct myself as a father and what I give to my children, what I teach them. Before I was ever a DJ, you know, I lived my life as, as an artist. Um, I went to Otis College of Art and Design years and years and years ago. But inspiration? I don't know, I, I get it from everywhere. I'm inspired by beauty. Um, my wife being a prime inspiration still. Her beauty and her intellect and her humor and the way she is as a mother. My kids. You know, the, the monsters that they are, they're still very much an inspiration. The beach, the West Coast, like, there's nothing like it. And I absolutely am in love with it, attached to it. Big inspiration. Before my time as a DJ, music has always inspired me. It's been a core of what inspires me. Um, can't help it, can't get away from it. Even as a, a young child, hearing a song, it was like, well, I had to know what it was. I had to listen to it again. You know, it's always been like that, sound. When I paint, when I am in that space where it's, there's something visual happening, whether I'm drawing or whatever, um, I try to have music on, but I like listening to things that don't have lyrics. Because if I know the lyrics, I'm there with the lyrics. If I don't, I'm trying to figure out the lyrics and that takes away from what I'm doing. I don't know if it's seeing sounds, but I, I visualize stuff, a lot of stuff. When I hear music or when I'm listening to music and you know, in that creative space visually. It's hard not to for me. I couldn't live without silence. 
I mean, as a DJ, I have to try and listen to as much music as possible. It's hard to give my ears a break. And I have to sometimes. Um, I love silence. I, I think I draw more inspiration from silence because in the silence lies the potential. In the silence is, is where, you know, imagination and memory collide. So, you know, I mean, in the beginning was silence, you know. If I could have a song play every time I walked in a room, right now it would have to be Smooth Operator by Sade. Wouldn't matter what I was wearing, if I was butt naked or in a tux, or t-shirt and jeans or whatever, like, that video changed my life. Like when I saw Sade for the first time, like nothing else mattered, everything stopped. The groove, the percussion, everything about it, like the whole thing. So I think that would be my theme music right now, you know? And I love that song, it's just, you know, so that works for me. He's a smooth operator. 